Scott X1307. Uh, got a, um, a little different kind of video uh, today. Um, it's a video uh, put up my 87 Boba Fett, uh, and he was um, he was asking uh, you know people about uh, animated movies, uh, something that he's uh, getting into, and um, I love animation. Um, I still watch a lot of cartoons. Uh, when I do watch TV, uh, it's usually what I watch. I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube as well. Uh, Bravest Warriors, um, things like that. I uh, love Adventure Time. And, uh, you know, child of the 80s and 90s, so Transformers, G.I. Joe, He Man, all that, grew up on all that great stuff. Um, and uh, a lot of anime as well. Um, the Japanese animation just always just uh, was so much better than uh, the stuff produced here, uh, in, in my opinion. And uh, used to watch uh, Voltron and uh, Speed Racer and uh, things like that. Um, G Force, <laughs> but. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, animated movies and animated series and um, I'm gonna go through these as quickly as possible um, just to give uh, give you an idea of some animated movies maybe to look for uh, most of these are pretty good um, start, off, start off with uh, the DC movies that I have um, here the the first one here the these two on blu-ray um, justice league war uh, rent it if you want to see it i didn't like it that much um, it's the characters are just they're not they're not right um, it didn't seem like batman and superman uh, it just there's there's something off um, so i just you know look for it red box or something like that or maybe find a, a bootleg copy online that you can watch on YouTube or something I didn't say that though um, I do recommend watching Flashpoint I did not read the event in DC Comics but I thought this was really good um, I've heard other people say it's pretty close to uh, the story but I, I don't know I'm sure it, there are a lot of things that are changed but uh, it's done pretty well <coughs> Um, I also kind of like the Superman Unbound. It was okay. Not one of their best. Uh, this Green Lantern Emerald Knights was pretty good. It's better than the live action Green Lantern movie that they made. Um, by far. Um, this was good and it did not get a lot of attention but um, I thought it was really good. The Wonder Woman movie that they did. Um, good animation. Um, and uh, I thought it was a pretty good story and a lot of action and uh, you know Wonder Woman kicks, kicks some ass so. uh, Superman Doomsday it was um, it was pretty good could have been better um, it is it is cut and edited from the uh, comic book story a lot but it's alright uh, Justice League Doom is pretty good. It's not quite like the story that they've adapted from the comics, but it's this is pretty good. It's their animation is always, you know, excellent. But story-wise, it's uh, it's worth watching. I uh, got this double feature: Superman, Batman, uh, uh, Public Enemies, and Apocalypse. I like both of them. Um, Apocalypse is uh, the return of Supergirl. Um, um, this one I really liked. Uh, Justice League Crisis on Two Earths. It's got the um, uh, crime syndicate. And uh, I thought this one was really good. Uh, it's James Woods, I believe, is the voice of uh, Owlman. So... Uh, and he does a does a real good job, so and that's that's one of their better ones, especially of the they're a little more recent. 
Um, there are a lot of other animated movies out there if you're interested in other things besides DC. Um, of course, there was the Transformers series uh, in the 80s, and they also had the animated movie. This is the two disc uh, 20, 20th anniversary edition. It has the theatrical version and the, you know, the, um, the re-edited new version, you know, where they touch up all the animation and stuff. Um, I still prefer the theatrical version, but uh, they're both good. This is this is just a it's a great movie. It's Transformers. Optimus dies. Sorry. Um, the uh, Marvel movies, they're so-so, and the good ones are few and far between. I think their best one is, it's kind of this, I bought this as a, a two-disc set. It's uh, Hulk versus, the Hulk vs. Wolverine one. It's uh, it's kind of short, it's only like 30 something minutes long, but it's it's good, it's hilarious. It's got Deadpool, Omega Red, um, Lady Deathstrike, and uh, Sabretooth, and, and the Hulk, of course. And it just, it's funny, it's a lot of action, it's bloody. It's, uh, um, they're rated PG-13, you know, for animation. That's, they can get away with a little more than a live action movie. And Hulk vs. Thor is pretty good. Uh, both animations are, are, you know, pretty good, especially for Marvel. It's some of the best they've done. Um, that's about the only one I would recommend. Um, Non-Disney-like animated movies, um, but, you know, kind of in that same vein, definitely check out The Iron Giant. That movie made me cry. It's just, it's really good. Um... This movie here, Nine, it's computer animation, uh, produced by Tim Burton, and it's directed by uh, T Timur Bekmimbetov, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I believe that's the director of um, District Nine. Uh, that's that's really good. Um, Disney movies, I only have a few. I don't like a lot of Disney movies. Um, well, the ones I, I, I do, but I just, I don't get into the musical parts, so, um, I generally fast forward through that, but, uh, Wally is great, and Nightmare Before Christmas, even though it does have a lot of singing and music, it's, it, I can watch it all the way through, it's just, it's great animation, it's, it's an awesome movie. <coughs> a lot of movies here, um, <coughs> Other comic book uh, or superhero movies, they did a couple of Hellboy animated um, movies, uh, Sword of Storms and Blood and Iron. They're pretty good. If you like Hellboy, they're worth checking out. And then if you're uh, if you're into anime, um, anything by uh, Hayao Miyazaki is worth watching. Even the more kid-friendly stuff, um, but my my uh, favorite ones are um, Nausicaa, The Valley of the Wind. This is actually my girlfriend's, and Howl's Moving Castle, um, which is hers also. But these are great. This has got Christian Bell um, doing the voice of uh, Howl, and. Uh, I forget, Billy Crystal, Lauren Bacall, Blythe Danner. And the one that I own is Princess Mononoke. Uh, another great movie. Um, top notch animation, great voice acting. And it's, this is, uh, they're excellent stories. So definitely, uh, definitely check out anything by uh, Miyazaki. Um, and then I'm real big into what, what, I don't know if you call them the classics of anime, but uh, to me they kind of are. The original Vampire Hunter D from mid-80s, 85, just such a great movie. Um, if you like Batman, things like that, you'll like Vampire Hunter D, I think. And, of course, there was the second one, Bloodlust. This came out in the 90s and uh, or early 2000s. Um, updated animation. So, uh, 
both of those are really good. Um, Akira. Watch it. If you've never seen it, watch it. Um, and from uh, uh, the same director as Akira, this is a little newer. It's uh, Steam Boy. This came out uh, mid 2000s. This is really good. Uh, it's kind of a steampunk world. I really like this movie. Um, it's called Origin Spirits of the Past. Uh, Post apocalyptic future. They're genetically uh, engineering plants on the moon. Something goes wrong, and they end up taking over the plants end up taking over the earth they spread from the moon to the earth through space and uh, of course another classic ninja scroll cool ninja samurai sword fighting action great animation um, this one's got some nudity and some adult situations and I can't I can't show anime without recommending even though it is a series um, well I have one more uh, blue sub number six it's kind of a little mini series this is a three disc set and it's got uh, uh, episode on each side so it's like six episode uh, mini series um, but uh, it's really good um, and then of course uh, I have to recommend and you probably uh, seen this on Cartoon Network and stuff but Full Metal Alchemist um, um, my favorite animated show, uh, movie, anything of all time. So, um, right up there with Batman the animated series. So, um, a lot of animation. I got a lot more, but I think those are some of the best. And uh, like I said I, I really like animation. I know there are people who have a lot more, um, but that is some of mine. So there you go. I recommend uh, just about anything there, depending on what you're uh, into. All right. Hope everybody liked uh, some of those animated movies. And uh, 87 Boba Fett, that was pretty cool. I like doing this video. It's a little bit different than just showing off comic books. So um, everybody take care. We'll see you all next time. Later.